hey man, that's not true. Hey man, they'll tell you. Hey man, for your conscience to be cleared, you have to do this or you have to do that. Hey man, you got to go down to the river and be baptized. You got to get in of the water. Hey man, to be saved, they'll tell you that, and you'll be all right. They tell you if they'll sprinkle a little water on you, you'll be all right. Hey man, that's wrong. It's wrong. I'll let you know right now. You can be baptized in every kind of water. You can have every kind of water blessed, sprinkled on you. It will not save. Hey man, it will not. Hey man, you can't get it that way. You can't get it. Hey man, by going before the communion table and picking up those elements. Hey man, and saying this is Christ. Hey man, it's a representation of his body. It's a representation of his blood. And he said, oh, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Hey man, what I've done, I'm the, I'm the New Testament. I'm the bear. I'm the one. Not some element. I'm the one. Hey man, they'll tell you that. It's not. It's not in nothing like that. It's in the blood of the atonement. The atonement. The recognition. Listen what he said. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Hey Amen. There's only one way. Hey Amen. To come. There's only one way. Hey Amen. To have a conscience cleared. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Hey Amen. Listen, that's cut and dry. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus by whom we have now received the atonement. Amen. You receive the atonement of God. Amen. Listen, in the time, I tell you what, I don't know about everybody else. Some people read a different Bible than I do, I believe. I believe some read a different Bible. Honey, they'll tell you the minute you get saved, everything's going to be all right. Amen. It will be with your soul. But Jesus said this, in this life you shall have tribulation. Amen. In this life they'll persecute you. Honey, but I tell you what, they might persecute. They might. Amen. I might have tribulation. But listen, and not only so, but we also join God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement. Amen. You know you saved. Amen. You know you got the atonement. Amen. There's a joy. Amen. When bad times come. Amen. Some says, amen, that if you believe, amen, on these scriptures, amen, that the troubles will pass. They're wrong. Listen, everybody's got a favorite scripture. Ain't no doubt about it. The Bible needs to be read. But my friend, I'll tell you what, I know them backwards, forwards, got them, love them, care about them, but trouble still comes. But there's joy. Why? Because what God said is true. It says that God cannot lie. Amen. He said, I'll be there in the time of trouble. I'll be beside you in sorrow. I'll be beside you in time of pain. I'll be beside you. I'll strengthen you. I'll guide you throughout the other side. Praise God. There's joy. Amen in the Lord. I believe that's the gospel. Oh, man. He said, now, we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, is by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Now, that didn't leave nobody out. That covered everybody. Every man, woman, boy, and girl. Amen. Covered everybody. But praise God. 
God made an atonement on the altar. He did it. He did it. And he did it because he loves us. Praise God. Amen. There ain't no being baptized in the river, the creek. The people goes over to the Jordan. That's good. Everybody needs to go. I'd love to go over to Jerusalem. I'd like to go over there. I'd like to go to Jerusalem. A lot of people like to go over and get rebaptized. That's all right too. But that's just water. I mean, it ain't no different than Cumberland River. It ain't no different than Laurel. Ain't no different from Rock Castle. Ain't no difference in it. But praise God. It ain't in the element. Because, listen, it won't matter where you at because you've sinned. I'll set all of sin and come short of the glory of God. Now listen what he said here about the blood. Listen what he said. In the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin.